Okay, so I, I opened the, the document we, we finished with um, previously, and if you don't have that document, if you didn't bring your document, no problem. I will make now a package with InDesign file. Package, you don't have to do it, don't do it, just watch file package. Okay, and the package, I will bring it to the desktop. The name of the package is the name of the file plus folder. The package is a folder. So packaging your document is interesting if you want to bring it for, from one computer to the other. That way you're sure you won't forget to put uh, anything. Everything is in the package. You have the native format document, InDesign document. You have the compatible format document for previous uh, versions of InDesign, of InDesign, and you have the PDF. No use here for the PDF. The fonts, and, and if I used pictures in the document, there will be a picture folder too, a links folder, link folder. Okay, so this um, package, I will put it uh, on uh, the internet. Go connect to server. So if you have your document with you, you don't have to uh, go and fetch uh, my uh, package. It's only for those who didn't bring their documents from uh, the previous uh, course. So you go on the internet, uh, NetNTI in the folder prof, in the folder d'Ambermont. I put the package in there. Okay, for the no password and for username use A and O. Ah, no. So don't work direct on the server. Just take the folder, copy it to your uh, local computer. That's the path. Net ATI prof d'Ambermont. And this is the folder inside of my folder. Okay, let's see if uh, we have made um, a style for the par paragraphs. So, let's use the text tool and click inside of any of these uh, of those paragraphs and go to type paragraph styles. Okay, we have uh, one uh, paragraph style with which is body text applied to the whole of the text. So we'll make a title inside of uh, this text now. You put the cursor in front of the first letter of the first character of the text. First page, first character. So double click on page one in the page panel and put the blinking cursor in front of the, just before the first character. And you type any title you want. And you hand the title with uh, the carriage return, the largest key on the keyboard. So you've put the uh, end paragraph uh, tag. OK. So you, we will change the appearance of uh, uh, this title. Uh, you will select all of the title, including the tag. So you drag with the text tool over the title to select all of it, including the end of paragraph tag.
Okay, you, you go fetch the character panel. And change the size, the size of it, the leading. In the paragraph panel, you will change the from justify to align to left or to right. Maybe okay too. So three things I've done here. Ch I have changed the size of the character, the leading, and I made it instead of justify, I want to align to right. Using paragraph and character panels. So some of you may think that's a, a strange thing to do because this, these paragraphs are using a, a style which is body text. And normally you would change the appearance of the text through the paragraph style. Wait a moment, you will understand. Okay, so now we'll change the, the font too. And the color of the font. Okay. The color of the font using the swatches panel window color swatches. Okay. So this is the look of my uh, title in my document. If it's not very good, no problem. We'll change it uh, afterward. Okay, no problem. We proceed. So, with the blinking cursor inside of the paragraph, anywhere, we will now create a paragraph style for the title. So, in the paragraph styles panel, you see that we started with the body text style and we modified the body text style. These are the overrides. So the color changed, the size of the character, the leading, the font, the alignment. Okay, so you just have to go in the menu of the paragraph style panel and choose new paragraph style. And remember, we don't want paragraph uh, style parenting, so here you choose no paragraph style, based on no paragraph style. We don't want this new style we're creating be the children, the child of the, the, the first style, body text. So no paragraph parenting here, based on no paragraph style is better. Here you type the name of the, the style, okay. I name it second level title because there will be in the document a bigger title for chapters, the, these titles are for a second level inside of the body text. Okay. I apply the style to the text. So this paragraph created the style and now I apply the style to the same paragraph. Okay, so now I will create uh, other uh, second level uh, titles in the document. Maybe on next page, page two, I will put uh, the cursor at the end of one paragraph. I hit the carriage return key on the keyboard and I type another um, title. Anything you want. And I apply that uh, new style we just created, second level titles. Okay, maybe, okay, it's okay, two, it's okay.
OK, I'll do it uh, one more time on the third page. OK. OK, so three titles are using the second level titles style. With the black arrow, you click uh, just beside one of the page, so nothing is selected. And we will change the appearance of the titles by clicking, by double clicking on the style. So first, with the black arrow, you click just beside the page, nothing is selected anymore. And you double click now on the style, which is called second level titles. And you may change the color, anything you want. Click the preview button here. You may change the anything. One, one thing I, I will change here is the space before the title. It is too close to the previous paragraph. So here, in uh, indents and spacing, you have the space before setting here. Okay, so this is the way you do uh, titles in InDesign. Don't underline uh, your titles. That's not the way to, to do things anymore. You don't put a line on top of the titles. Nowadays, when you see the text with lines under, it is an hyperlink, not a title. Okay? Okay, save the document. Okay, um, be sure to uh, look at the document in normal mode. In the, in, in, at the bottom of the tool uh, panel, it is the left-sided button which is uh, selected, normal mode. Do you see all the, of the tags? No problem? Okay. So, you see um, there are some problems here. The title is too close to the end of the column. It's not pretty. Title should be on the next column, on the second column of this page, or if I want, it may be also on the next page. Titles will begin, uh, will, will start uh, each uh, page. So we'll push the title to the next column now. You have a title in one column, of course you have. You just put the cursor at the end of the previous paragraph, like that. And you right click, insert break character. And if you want to push the title on the next column, you choose colon break. Good. So there's one empty paragraph here. I'll just click at the beginning of the title and hit the delete key. That's okay. So you, f you forced the paragraph to begin at the uh, beginning of one colon. Okay, I will change the color here of the layer because I don't see tags uh, very clearly. Window layers, okay, window layers. And I double click on the text layer and we will change it to blue. Okay, good. The tags appear more clearly. So, you see at the end of the first column, in my case, fir first column, you see this little tag? That's what, what we just put in the text. It's a break tag, a column break tag, okay? So if, we, if you want to cancel what, what we've done, one good way to, to do it is to select with the text tool this little tag and hit the delete key and 
Okay, the, the title comes back into the first column. Okay, I have to apply the right paragraph to it, the, the right style to that paragraph again. Okay, good. Okay, we'll put once again a uh, break uh, tag, uh, but this time it will be a page break. Okay, so you put the cursor here at the end of the previous paragraph and you right click, insert break character, and you choose, this time you choose page break, not column break, page break. Okay, and on the next page you have the title. You just have to put the cursor in the, in the, at the beginning of the title, hit the delete key, so the, the empty paragraph is deleted. So you forced the title to begin at the, at the beginning of the next page. And uh, the tag is a little uh, different this time. It is not anymore a column uh, uh, break uh, tag, it is a page break tag. Okay, any problem with it? With this, any problem? So that way you may um, solve some problems in your documents. Titles too close to the end of the page or the end of the column with the page breaks. And column breaks. Okay, save the document and we will fetch some pictures and bring them inside the document. So, is there any picture in the folder? No, I don't think so. Mm, okay. We'll go fetch some pictures now over the internet. So you fetch any picture. At least four pictures. Okay, I suppose you have uh, at least four pictures in your folder. But before putting your pictures in the, on the pages, I will change the layout of the page. The size of, of each uh, text frame on each page will change. In just one click, we'll do it together. It will work on the A master. Okay, so we go in the pages panel, window pages, and we'll double click on the A master. So now you, you should see the A master in the window and it should be written, it should be written here, hey master. Okay, you double clicked on the hey master page in the pages panel. Okay, so don't select anything on it. Click uh, just beside the, the page, nothing is selected. And you go in layout menu, mar margins and columns. Never use this feature columns. We did columns in the text frame differently. It is for advanced users. Don't change this. Just click enable layout adjustment and break the chain here and change the left 
Hier. Okay. Change any, any margin you want. And you should see that the text frame is following the margins because before changing the values here, you clicked enable layout adjustment. Okay, here, this is what I will put. These are the values I put, top 20, bottom 20, left 40, right 12, 7. Okay, it works. You see the text frame moving with the margins. Okay, and now on each page, you see the text frame with the, its, its new size. Okay, go back in the AMS terror, and now change the width of this uh, box with the uh, black arrow. Okay, just beside the text frame, not over the text frame. Leave some space, it's good, like that. Okay. You may decrease the size of the text inside of the, the frame with the character panel, type character, because it's too large now. Okay. Shift click on the arrows. So it's faster to change the size of the character inside of the frame. Okay. So in preview mode, this is how it looks like. One more thing to do, to put the numbering outside of the text frames. So I go back to the hamster and move the numbering here outside, maybe make it a little bit smaller with the free transform tool and the shift key on the corner handle like that, not too close to the page, to the page border, okay, like that. Okay, everything going okay for you? So, by double clicking on the MSR and going to layout margins and columns and enabling layout adjustment, you just saw that you, you are able to change the look of all of the document. It works with every frame with which touched the, um, the margins. Okay, let's bring some pictures in here. So you go working on the first page, double click on page one in the pages panel, zoom out in order to see the blank space on the left and the right. Go to File, Place. Select some pictures, four pictures with the Control key or Shift key. Click, Shift click, or Control, Control, Control click. Okay, at least four pictures. 
then click open, the four pictures are available here. With the arrow on the keyboard, you may select which one you want to put first on the page. Try with the arrow on the keyboard. Doesn't work for me. Aha. Okay. Is it working for you? Yeah, you just have to move the mouse a bit and you will see it changed. So, mm, no, 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 just a problem here. Slow computer. Okay, not working, not a pr okay, working now. Just okay. move your mouse, you will see. Move the mouse. Well, on my computer, that's why. Okay. Okay, so anyway, don't put the pictures on the, on the pages, on the side of the page. Keep, keep all of them um, loaded in, in, the bling, in the cursor. So just watch. I click and drag, and while I click and drag, I'm using the arrow on the keyboard, up arrow, right arrow, and I've just created two rows and two columns. You release the mouse button and you have the four pictures coming in four frames, which have the same size. I cancel and say it again, click and drag, use the up arrow on the keyboard one time, the right arrow one time, you just created two rows and two columns, you release the mouse button, the pictures are coming all in four frames, which have the same size. Okay, you have four frames with the same size. I will change the uh, color of the layer because it's not really clear. Light green on gray. So let's put it, yeah, magenta. Okay, so you have the four pictures coming on the, on the, the side of the page, right. So now I will ask in design to fill the frames with the four frames selected, they are object, fitting fill frame proportionally. Object fitting fill frame proportionally. It's the same if you go in the panel, op uh, the option panel here, and you choose um, on this icon. Anyway, object fitting fill frame proportionally. Right. So that's an easy way to bring a lot of pictures in your pages, on your pages maybe more than four, 10 pictures, 20 pictures at, at the same time in grid, aligned in a grid. So if you're, if you're not really creative one day, that brings rhythm on your page to have grids of, grids of pictures like that. That's one way to do it. Okay.